Oh, we also start to distract the tan out of this plant cup, shall we? I'm just going to cut these things off. I could shorten these two wires here out yeah? and make a ballast bypass, I mean ballast box. And put it to the dead short and be a good uh, test the bypass plug from the ballast box. Quick tests. I'm short of a power board, I needed a power board, I just short this here. Bypass the ballast. What's going on there? It's not cut properly. Ugh. Okay. That's it. Fairly loose fitting inside that. <laughs> cut this apart actually. Let's just ugh, cut this clear rubber out. This soft part will cut out. Fairly weak material. Wouldn't take much to break this if you drop something on it. Your bunning special for you. Got to keep cutting away at this rubber. I'll pick at it. I'm gonna scoot over and get to the part here. A Chinese plug. Little plastic, and it just broke off just like that. The earth's just welded on there and crimped and welded. So it's got a pretty good connection. Got a pretty good connection on there. Mm, yeah, the pins are loose. Pretty cheap made. There we go. Now I've got another thing to pin the stick in sockets. <laughs> it's a uh, proper brass, made of brass with a coating of silver on it. So it's a proper, bra proper brass pin at least. How much this plastic we can get off these pins here? Wow. They're only half the thickness under this plastic. Ah. About half a mil thinner without the plastic these pins. Cut this plastic off. The actual pins are about half a mil thinner. There we go. Without the plastic. In a way that kind of uh, ruins a current rating of these things. Probably explains why their 15 amp leads get so damn hot. And not the pins all the time. Especially when they're thinner with the plastic, take the plastic off. It's quite an adequate um, bit of plastic to insulate that to meet our standards, but uh, there we go, it just slides off. And then they're uninsulated. They're about half a mil thinner without that plastic underneath that. It's interesting to pull these um, sleeves off these pins with some of them. Just to see how much, how thinner they actually are underneath that coating. It's actually separately moulded around this. They machine it down and they just mould the plastic around that. And then they put the pins in here in this potato bracket and in another machine. Then when they are uh, final assembly they mould, injection mould this uh, clear soft or hard rubber over it. Not the best quality in the world. Anyway. That'll be enough for now. Thanks so much.